I'm sitting in an Applebee's right now. Celine Dion is playing on the music. Just got a country fried chicken. And this is Saudi Arabia. Everywhere I look, I see American chains and restaurants. What is the Arabic translation of Applebee's? Applebee's? In fact, in all my travels, there has never been a country where I felt more like I was back in the United States. But that's not what I'd expect here in Saudi Arabia. Rice, kapsa, whatever they're eating at home. So they want to enjoy American food and uh, Western food. Today I'm experiencing America's exports here in the kingdom as the country opens up its economy and hopes to attract tourists for the first time. Country fried chicken, sir. First I explore a massive new mall in Jeddah and eat at an Applebee's here in Saudi. They all want to modernize and uh, change. Then I walk through a grocery store and try to make sense of why America's consumer influence is so high here. very like Americanized like I see Applebee's I see Baskin Robbins so many Dunkin Donuts that before maybe 10 years okay. or five years so I'm about to walk inside this mall here it's called Red Sea Mall it's one of the biggest malls here in Jeddah and first impressions it reminds me of something I would see in Southern California you've got the palm trees uh, the parking looks pretty much the exact same <laughs> No, no. As part of this video, it's only appropriate for me to bring you into one of the most iconic American chains that I could find here in Saudi Arabia. It was a tough choice. They have chilies, IHOP, even a cheesecake factory. But nothing is more American to me than your neighborhood grill, Applebee's. They even have a bar, just like you would have at Applebee's, but of course there is no alcohol, it's more just like an espresso bar here. Whitney Houston is blasting on the speakers right now. He's not wearing the smart very well. <laughs> got Arabic and then you got English, so let's scan the menu and see what they got. Today, Good, thank this you. is our menu, sir. We have lunch offer and we take uh, also, we have entertainer all the main course. Okay. This is like a book. It's yes, really sir. like a book. By the way, sir, my name is B-Boy. I'm your server for today. Thank you. Thank if you, you want to order, sir, just call me. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you B-Boy. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. They have mojitos, but it doesn't even need to say non-alcoholic because there is no alcohol. So it's mm. just assumed that the mojitos are, mm. are non-alcoholic. <laughs> It almost looks like they have, you know, replicated the menu from the U.S. But for the most part, I see an exact menu I would see in America. I hear Celine Dion, I hear Whitney Houston, I see a lot of American icons yeah. like Elvis, but then I also see once in a while uh, an homage to something local, something Saudi. In the Applebee's in America, it's really all about the neighborhood. So you see the yeah. high school football team, you see the cheerleaders, you, you see, see the memorized. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is meant to like make you feel like you're in your neighborhood. Like you see the high school, the cheerleaders. So that's what they're trying to replicate here, but it, it's a bit different. Oh, oh it's a Saudi uh, yeah. musical instrument. Yeah. Let's do the country, country chicken mm -hmm. and we'll do the chili cheese nachos. nachos. Your beverage, sir, lemony. And chili cheese nachos for your appetizer. This is your main course, country fried chicken, sir. 
vegetable with side mashed potato and country gravy for the sauce and chicken. Thank you. Feels like I'm back in Alabama. Wow. Thank you so much, sir. Enjoy the food. So that's cost 49 Saudi Rial, which is Thirteen dollars. Do you guys take American Express? This stuff. Yes, I do. Wow, they even take American Express here. In most malls around the world, by now I would have been told, "Do not film. Filming is not allowed inside the mall." So the fact that no one has told me this, and it's been about an hour, in Saudi Arabia, is just shocking to me. Everything I see here, again, is nearly identical to the U.S., especially this large selection of cereals. You guys really like your country. <laughs> Except there are two things you definitely won't find at this store, pork or alcohol. Americana quality. The country has nearly a quarter of the world's oil reserves, but now has to rethink its future since the world is more and more turning to alternative energy. I remember being a teenager in the US and watching a documentary about Saudi and seeing that to enter a mall, you either had to be married and you could enter with your wife or you know, you were with your family, your parents or something. A single male could not enter a mall by himself in Saudi. And now that's changed, things are a lot different. I even remember seeing a fast food restaurant, maybe it was McDonald's, where they had uh, two different places for ordering. So there was women and families and then there was men. Now you don't see any of that, at least here um, at the small in Jeddah. Some restaurant doing mm. that, but for the mall, no. It's okay. allowed to everyone. When you grew up, did you have like all of these fast food restaurants like 20 years ago, 25 years ago? Did you have like you had you had McDonald's probably? Yeah, yeah, yeah they had McDonald's. But you didn't probably have you know New York fries, yeah, and York PF fries, Chang, PF Chang, and Fridays, Steakhouse. So was it exciting when it came when you were a kid? Yeah. You would go and get excited. Yeah, because uh, this is entertainment for me. Because you didn't have movie theaters. <laughs> yeah, but now you have it. Yeah, now you do. But growing up, you didn't have movie theaters, so food became a form of entertainment. So I just found this movie theater. Yeah. A few years ago, this didn't exist. Yeah. I mean, it even looks like it was an extension added to the mall. Yeah. Something new in the life. Yeah. So something nice. Yeah. yeah. To, to have it here. Are these stores gonna close? Uh, it's up to you. Now it's up to you. But in the past, they had to close. Yeah. Will we hear the call to prayer in a in like if yeah, inside? Inside. We'll Just hear the call to prayer, but everyone can continue to shop. Yeah. And do everything. Even though everywhere I look, things are super Americanized, things are changing. Instead of romanticizing American chains, more Saudi restaurant chains are coming onto the scene. There are so many other choices now mm. that competition is a lot more fierce. Yeah. And also becoming an entrepreneur is relatively easy yeah. here, right? And customers are more proud to now support national brands. Fahad tells me that P.F. Chang's used to be packed. You couldn't get a table here. But now when we visit, the restaurant is nearly empty. A local Saudi can now uh, succeed here as an entrepreneur. He can start his own restaurant. He can do his own essentially PF yeah. Chang. Yeah. So it's not just that people are creating restaurants that are Arabic food, yeah. but even you know Western food or Asian food, but they're doing it with their own twist. And would you say Saudis take pride in national brands or do they actually get more excited about foreign and American brands? Uh, they take good experience from the, the American and the other people yeah. and bring it to here. So it's like pasta, but it's it's a Saudi brand. Yeah. Amazing. This is Saudi brand? Huh? What is her feet? Saudi Maybe, brand? Yeah. The next trend is the move toward healthier and more fresh foods. According to studies, four in 10 people in Saudi Arabia are considered obese. That ultimately costs the government billions of dollars in healthcare costs and lost productivity. I think all the people not uh, cooking at, the home, uh, at their houses. Because the wife working and the husband working and they have no time to cook. Just like America. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's like America. You see, you see that, that's, that's like America. It seems like in some ways you guys are 10 to 20 years behind America, right? You know, women in America used to stay at home and cook and clean. And then they joined the workforce. And as a result of joining the workforce, as you said, cooking in the home became less frequent. That's why we, we yeah. ended up having like microwave dinners and yeah. frozen pizzas, which are still very common, right? And then we went really hard on takeaway and fast food restaurants. So now over the past 10 years, we've got into this like 180 where it's all about healthy food yeah. and salad chains and sandwich chains and you know, organic bowls and quinoa. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it seems like that's slowly starting to happen. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's happening. Uh, so you joined a gym? Yeah, I joined the Do you gym. have a trainer or you do all your no, own workout? No, I do it from my phone, nice. from my friend. Oh, nice. There's one final thing that's on my mind. It's clear this country loves American things, and it's changing at an insanely rapid rate. It's now hosting music festivals, bringing Pitbull and Formula One to the country. It's becoming just like many other countries, but amidst all this change, will it hold on to its past? They all want to modernize and uh, change. Then uh, we will lose our culture, we will lose our, our heritage. Culture for the life. For the knowledge. There is a small area inside the mall that appears to be sponsored by the Ministry of Culture, almost like an attempt to remind Saudis of their past and not become completely lost in Western values. What is the point of this? The point of this, uh, this of the ministry to produce their identity or culture. While I'm here, the attendant is missing. 